Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be going over Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories. While I own Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance, I never took the time to play it. So, this is my first experience with the title. I chose to play it on the PlayStation 4 collection because I was hoping to play the best version of the game. Now, I know this can spark a huge debate among the fans, but I'm not here to spark that fight. I simply made a decision that felt was right for the experience that I wanted. So, with all that said, let's get to the review. As with most games, the hero becomes powerful towards the end, and this is no different for Sora in the first game. The challenge is for the story to somehow strip all of this from the hero in an acceptable fashion, and Chain of Memories does that, does a masterful job of it. I won't go into details because I don't want to rob you of that experience. A big part of games is, games for me is the combat. And let me tell you, the combat here is very different. Gone is the old Kingdom Hearts 1 combat, and here comes a new card system. For me, this was a drastic change. At first, it was overwhelming. But I quickly dug into my old TCG skill set and began deck building and organizing strategically to complement my combat tactics. And it worked very well for me. Let me put it this as plainly as I can. It's very important to learn the card system. The cards truly let you control all aspects of your fate. Not only does it influence how you fight, but also allows the player to dictate the pace and style of each level and room. The story is great and I don't want to ruin that for you, but I do have a few comments. The water on the walls of the castle and some of the dialogue lead to me lead me to think that Sora is losing his mind. As for Riku's story, I had my reservations about playing the Riku story, but I'm happy I did. Riku's story is tragic and heartwarming at the same time. You will not regret playing his story. You already finished the main course, why not have dessert? Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories is a major time investment, but well worth every bit of effort and time that you put into it. Well gamers, let's get to the scoring and see how this game stacks up. The game exists, therefore, like everything else on the planet, it starts with a score of 3. It exists physically and digitally, so it gains a point. Immersion was about my around my expectation, so 2 points. Multiple endings. Uh, yes, it actually had multiple endings. Um, so, because I count the Riku story, so that's two points. Uh, gimmick. Yeah, it's it's Kingdom Hearts gimmick. So it gains a point. Voice actors English gains a point. Game length two points. Story. Um, it felt kind of lazy at first, but it gets better uh, on Act Two. So it gains two points. Level design two points. Complete experience, two points. Sense of progression, uh, that was purely on deck building, and it gains three points. Um, uh, let's see, fairness, punishing, punishing RNG. Bosses have uh, some overwhelming abilities, so only one point. Technical difficulties, uh, again, the stutter step, um, and I know that it's that, that it was my controller now that I've cleaned it up and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think they still should have fixed it, so it's still going to lose a point. Uh, game value to MSRP cost. Two points. Choice and consequence. Well, that's kind of in the deck building, so it gains a point. Multiple storylines. The Riku story, one point. Uh, soundtrack. Again, guys, it gets kind of old fast. So it only gets one point. Um, let's 
see. Uh, visuals. Two points. Difficulty. It has a really large learning curve, so one point. Gameplay combat. Um, it's mostly misunderstood, but I actually like the combat, so two points. Uh, controls. Guys, you can't remap the controls, so one point. Um, replay value. I mean, after you get through the Riku story, I, I just I don't see any replay value there. It's just not there. Uh, camera. I kind of wish it had a follow camera. Um, or it just kind of trailed behind you a little bit better. So only one point. Uh, unlockables and rewards. Cards. I mean, you, you get tons of cards as your unlockables and rewards. Three points. Sense of accomplishment. Two points. Um, I felt very accomplished after uh, beating this game. You know, it's uh, it's a great game. I had a lot of fun with it, and I actually may, may go back and play the Game Boy Advance version of this. Or... So, this lands Kingdom Hearts, the Story So Far Collection, Rechain of Memories on the PlayStation 4 with 38 points. Not a bad score for a game that has been remade from a Game Boy Advance and taken into a whole new direction. I would suggest playing this game. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you will as well. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.